Hey guys, welcome back to Broke Over Land. My name is Chad, and today we're going to do either the dumbest thing I've ever done or probably one of the coolest things I've ever done. So we are going to take the boarding ladder that is buried underneath all of this junk and shove it through our upper C channel on our above our frame rail. So down here is the frame of the truck. This is the C channel between the habitat and the front and the actual frame of the truck. And we're gonna window box. So we're gonna cut a three and a half inch high by 29 inch long hole through this thing. And yes, we're gonna offset it to the left-hand side of the door so that when you come up the stairs, you can stand to the side and pull the door handle open and the door will swing open to the edge of where that box or where that ladder is gonna stand. So let's, uh drill some pilot holes so we can mark out where things are going to go and then uh, bust out the plasma cutter and see if we can get the cord to reach out here. Okay, since we want to window box this thing, we need a three and a half inch high. Um, ow, that's freaking sharp. We need a three and a half inch high opening. So anyway, we're just going to drill a hole right here all the way through. And hopefully that'll give us enough space so that we can leave this top strap. This top strap will give us some rigidity. Uh. Alrighty, we got through. Let's go see where we are on the other side. Okay, there we go. It's not wide enough for the drill and my big fat head. So we're a little higher than anticipated by about, oh, about an eighth inch, I mean higher than anticipated. That's good. So that means we can burn a line up here and then that will come up from here to the top of this plate, right to the top of that plate. Might have to grind into that plate a little bit, but I think we'll cut the line right there and that'll give us three and a half. We are going to be using the angle grinder to cut through this frame because the <laughs> extension cord on the plasma cutter is not long enough to reach out here. I can't get the truck close enough to the shop. So uh, yeah, um, angle grinder it is with a cutoff wheel. This is gonna be horrible. So let's begin. Okay, I've gone through uh, one and a half discs now. I've made it through and that's as far as I've gotten in 20 or so minutes of grinding we've made it through and we have a little sliver of daylight coming through and that's basically going to be the length the height of it all the way back to about schmah. yeah that's gonna probably take me all weekend to make this cut <laughs> and then we'll have to do the same on the other side so this may be a long video. Okay, well, this has been a, another hour and we've made it from there to there. And uh, we do have one more broken DeWalt and we have to get all the way over to there. So I just went ahead and ordered a longer extension cord from a plasma cutter so we can run 50 feet out to here. <laughs> and we're just gonna, we're just gonna wait until Monday and plasma cut this. In the meantime, I'm going to go throw a ball at little kids. Thomas, quit cheating. Get on the other side. Oh, you're on this side. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so we got that rough opening cut. We're going to let that cool down overnight, and then we'll embiggen the hole across the top until we get to about roughly there. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and grind that to the fit. So we're not pushing too much heat up against the box of the truck. We did uh, set a few of our boards on fire. Got our little makeshift fire block in there. Let's see if you can see. <laughs> Covering all of our hoses. But, yeah, coming along. Okay, we are back at it for yet another day. Um, we're gonna just start picking all that top part out see how far we can get before we have to actually grab the grinder because the problem that we're running into is when you get too close up in here the c channel so this this section here is a c channel 
and it rotate, it flows over and you can see this radius. So if I get too close, the plasma goes through, hits that radius and then shoots directly up into the truck. And I don't, this is only 22 gauge steel, so I don't want to put too much heat on there. Um, we're doing all right. I mean, we're not getting to the point where we're even burning the tape. Well, I sit there, don't look over there. But uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're keeping it nice and cool. Of course, I didn't bring a tripod again today, so I'm shooting everything on my phone. There we go. So I will uh, poke at this a little bit and then I'll come bring you back in for another look. And there we go. After five and a half hours of grinding, we got ourselves a, a hole all the way through the truck. Okay, paint's dry. Well, hey, and look what I found. I found uh, the old tripod mount in the underwear drawer in the truck. So, and uh, if you're wondering why I was digging around in the underwear drawer, well, you're plasma cutting and grinding in a rainstorm. Um, let's just not think about why I had to dig around in my underwear drawer. But anyways, we got our holes all crowned out, cut. They're not super clean yet, but uh, let's go ahead and get this thing slid in. Make sure it fits. Mark it up for some tabs. is gonna work the treat. Okay, so let's go let's cut some uh, two by two angle iron and we'll weld it here so we make some drill holes through and put a, you can see what I'm pointing at? Yeah, you can, good. So, using my phone. Um, so we can put a bolt in here on either side and then the same on the back side. Let me show you that. So it doesn't quite come all the way through, but that's pretty good because then we can do two by two that's got to come in just a skosh, but it will do a two by two angle here, weld it onto the back of the strap, and then that'll hold that up against the truck bottom. Cool. There we go. Just backed up our uh, grind spots with uh, some acid etch uh, weld through primer. And that way when we weld on our tabs, we don't get rust behind it, theoretically. I don't know if it actually works. And that's hot on your elbow, by the way. Okay, got it all welded in there. Gave it a little, little rebuild. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll get this uh, stuck in the truck and mark the holes and drill them. Lube. Yowza. The anisees. Oops, wrong way. Oh, 
Good. Ladder. And stick. Offset so we can still grab the door handle. <laughs> Well, and there we are. We have a beautiful ladder and st staircase <laughs> going into the truck. I'd like to thank uh, Bill from uh, Globe Trekker for selling me this ladder and delivering, and, and Dave for delivering it a year ago tomorrow-ish. Uh, I bought this ladder a year ago and just finally got around to installing it. So, But if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like this kind of content. And we'll catch you in the next one. We're at the Northwest Overland Rally, and uh, look who it is. That's where we got our ladder last year. <laughs> look familiar? Well, there we go. We're all set. Got the ladders put in. Uh, can't think of his name. Bill Sands at... So all of these panels are held on magnetically, and you can tell that I've been using a, uh, grinding a lot because the magnets are picking up the grinding dust from the atmosphere, <laughs> the magnetic, the ferrous particles. <laughs>